I played sports once. One of those sports happened to be basketball. In about the third grade, I decided to join the basketball team. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. My parents made me join the basketball team. So they about me staying active or something. I don't know. At the time, I was pretty short. I stood at about 3'8", while everyone else was 4'2". This was probably due to the fact that I was around a year younger than the kids in my grade, as well as me just being short in general. But when I was growing up, I always felt like a dwarf surrounded by giants. Because of this huge height difference, it allowed me to play the integral position of bench warmer. Someone had to keep the seat warm for the good players, am I right? The team I was on was called the Spurs, which is a name we stole from the actual San Antonio Spurs for no reason at all. Ah, 2010, when plagiarism was abundant in our community. Our team was average at best, but the real diamond in the rough was a boy who we'll call Aaron. Aaron was a basketball superstar. All the shots he took were threes, and he made every single one. He was literally the only reason our team could be considered decent. But I didn't like him that much because he thought he was so cool. Got on my nerves. Okay, the real reason I didn't like him was because he was better than me. While he was making threes, I was either tripping over my shoelaces or sitting on the bench. Anyway, I have two stories dealing with this team, both of which actually involve me playing. Yay. This first story happened when we went against a team that was actually worse than us. I mean, a lot worse, like 20 points worth of worse. So we were in the fourth quarter. And since the coach was legally binded to allow all of his players to play, he said, Who here hasn't played yet? <sighs> Go ahead, Farrell. Oh, alright. So I was in the game for about two minutes, having fun and stuff, when suddenly I was fouled. He probably couldn't see me because of how short I was. Apparently it was a shooting foul, which seven-year-old me didn't understand. I said, Coach, what do I do? It's a shooting foul, Farrell. I don't know what that means. Why am I so stupid? Farrell, I want you to go up there and try to make a basket. Gulp. Make a basket? Make a basket? I can barely run and dribble the ball at the same time and you want me to make a basket? I'd say you had a little bit too much faith in me, coach. I stepped onto the free throw line. The gym was silent. All eyes were on me. I had to prove to the coach, the rest of the team, and myself that I was actually good at basketball. <sighs> Dang it! I had no idea why I thought I could make the shot to begin with, especially considering at that moment I didn't know what a free throw was. But in the moment, I really thought I was going to make it. I thought I was going to be a hero and everything, but I wasn't. We won the game anyway, but my little attempt basically got me a permanent spot on the bench. At least until this next story. What a segue. So I was still on the bench, we had an average win-loss streak, and everything was going great. And then I decide to check the game schedule. Alright, so next Saturday it looks like we're going against the Chicago Sky. Isn't that a WNBA team? Oh no. That's right. I don't think people understand how much I hate dislike this person. We're just gonna name this girl Susan. Susan thought she was like the greatest person to walk the earth, and she chose to remind me about it every single day. She also just so happened to be on the other team we were supposed to play. This is gonna be great. Before the game is done, our team's gonna wipe the floor with yours. Now with me being a little gentleman and all, I decided that I should try and choose my words very wisely. Oh yeah? Well I think my team is going to wipe the floor with yours, because our team's amazing, and you're going to lose, and it's going to be hilarious, I'm going to laugh like this, ha 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 ha. Blinded by my rage, I said something that filled me with instant regret. Is that so? Well, I guess we'll see you on Saturday. Dang it. I had the rest of the week to prepare. I trained so hard that one week, but I knew that me being able to make a few more baskets wouldn't help at all. So I had to go to... him. Hey, hey Aaron. Oh, hey, Jacob. It it's Justin. Oh, I'm sorry, Jamal. Come on, you've got this. <sighs> Alright. 
Are you excited for the game on Saturday? Huh? Oh, I guess. Well, be sure to give it your all, alright? Yeah, whatever. <sighs> what a waste of time. So it's Saturday. The big day. I specifically remember my dad saying before the game started, Do your best, son. And in my life, when I am given encouragement to make me feel better, things are about to get worse. So I'm already extremely worried. And to make things worse, the coach came up to me and said, Do you know the shooting guard on the other team? Yeah, she's in my class. Well, since you know her, why don't you do the jump ball with her? Now, I don't know much about basketball, but I know when you're trying to have me go against someone that's six inches taller than me, then you're just trying to see me break my leg while you laugh. I once again step onto the court. So, you already want to be embarrassed? I don't really plan on losing this game. Pause. Congrats, past Justin, because one, that was sort of cool of you to say, and two, you're about to eat your words. Alright, here I... Go. Hold on a second, I'm getting word that this meme is dead, so I guess I'll just put in my own. Bonus points if you know what it's from. What can I say? Old habits die hard. So after that shameless display, I spent the rest of the game bench, and the one game I actually wanted us to win was the one we lost. I don't think Aaron was giving it his all. After Susan gloated for days on end, I decided my best option was to just quit basketball since I wasn't good at it at all. But I didn't quit right then and there, since there were like two more games left. After those, I went to an end of the season party, and then left basketball behind me forever. Oh wow, an end card. Never done that before. I'll just talk and stuff and see what happens. I'm still really bad at basketball, but a few years ago, I was playing a game of basketball with some friends, and I actually scored the game-winning basket. It wasn't enough to make me enjoy basketball, but it was something. I want to thank you guys for the positive feedback on my last video. I'll try to keep improving in the future. There's actually some scenes in this video that are animated using Flash, and maybe one day I'll use entirely Flash to make him. But... I have to get better at animating anyway. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you didn't, I'm sorry I failed you.